一切 everything. Well, we can separate the two characters of 一切 and tell you 一 means one and 切 means among other things. Definitely or absolutely, there's not much point to doing that. 一切 has to remain together to retain its meaning, which is everything, every or all. I short. I means short of stature or low. This is the adjective you are going to use if you want to describe how tall something or somebody is. In the dialogue, we hear Pipe tell Lily that he likes women that are shorter than he is. 我喜欢比我矮的女生 Similar to English, in Chinese, we generally say 他不高 He's not tall, rather than 他很矮 He's short, as that might sometimes come off as sounding implied. 共同 common. 共 means common, general, shared, together, or total. 同 means like, same, similar, or together. 共同 then is once more as we've previously seen, two characters mutually reinforcing one another. 共同 is also like many Chinese words in that it functions as both an adjective or an adverb. Here, stressing that something is common, shared, collaborative, or done together. Again, referring to our dialogue, Pipe talks about shared interests, which in Mandarin we call 共同的兴趣身材 figure. 身 too means quite a few things, but here it's going to mean body. 材 on the other hand, here means material or timber. Thus, 身材 can be thought of as one's body material or the timber of one's body. That, however, is a roundabout way of saying figure or body shape, which is probably the best translation for 身材 We can put 身材 together with 矮 Another word we just learned, 身材矮小 means short and slight of stature. 完美 perfect. 完 means finish, be over, whole or complete. 美 is always a nice word to hear and means beautiful, pretty or good. When paired, 完美 means perfect or consummate. To say that something or someone is 完美 suggests that this thing or person is wholly or completely beautiful, which is pretty much what we would say when we feel something is just perfect. 不好意思 I'm sorry. Forgive me. Excuse me. I beg your pardon. As we discussed in the last lesson, Chinese has an affinity. For four character constructions, or that is to say, it often wants to be in a group of four. Here, 不好意思 is again a good example of this phenomenon. By breaking these four characters into two sets, it becomes a bit easier to translate. 好 we actually just saw in the previous lesson, and we remember it means good. Fine or nice, by simply placing the negating particle 不 before the adjective 好 we get 不好 or not good, not fine, not nice. 意思 on the other hand should be looked at as a unit and means idea, meaning or desire. Thus, when we say 不好意思 We are expressing that we have had a bad idea, or something was not as desired, as if you were to explain that was a bad meaning. Basically, it's a four-character way to say "I feel bad" or "sorry." 
practice this one a lot because you'll hear it daily and want to be using it yourself when say bumping into someone on a train. 下周, next week. 下周 is about as straightforward as any vocab word in this lesson. 下 means down, lower, later, or next. While 周 means weekly or week. Therefore, as might be expected, 下周 means next week. We already talked about making an appointment with someone which was 约. So, if you're interested in meeting with someone next week, now you know you can simply say 我们约下周见面吧. That's meet next week.